Well, hopefully you guys can hear me. I forgot my wireless this morning. Beautiful morning. It's in like the mid-30s. Right now we've got a southwest wind which is carrying back into this. Well, some TSI stuff that I hinge cut, try to get them not to use it, but this wind's supposed to shift more westerly here in about an hour and then northwest, which would be like that. So we'll see how that goes, but we're up here after that picket fence buck. He was in here a lot last year this time of year, but this year he's been, uh, you can see that hillside of corn over there. He's been over there more so, but I wouldn't be surprised to see him up here at all. This is where I found his sheds right here on this hill. So we'll see how it goes. We'll sit in here for a little while, watch the sunrise, and hopefully see some deer. Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Ozonix. Redneck Blinds, Wasp Archery, Spot Hog Releases, RTP Outdoors, America's Best Bowstrings, Hoyman Tree Saws, and Realtree. through there. Boy, he was on pins and needles. I thought for sure we were going to get spotted, but we got away with it. Happy birthday. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. <laughs> Today is my birthday. That's a birthday, Buck. Yeah, sure enough.
that's a, that's a pretty good looking buck right there too. Not for sure which deer that is even. Well, my arrow's just right here. Let's grab that, and we heard him crash just down the hill not far, so let's go take a look at him. Put farther than I thought. That's the way we like to see him. What a beautiful morning. All right, well, right off this way down the hill. He's lodged under that log right there. He made a heck of a commotion. This is some of that area we TSI'd here as well. We've seen this deer. It's probably two weeks ago. We were hunting in a redneck blind, and he came out. And I don't know if he caught movement that day or what, but he was awful hawky that day, and he was today as well. But I would definitely say he's a mature buck. We didn't know the deer from years past. And uh, I went through all my trail pictures actually just yesterday trying to figure this deer out because this is one we talked about trying to target. So, worked out perfect today. Let's see if we can get him moved out of here a little bit. We'll get a tag on him first and we'll drag him out of here. Well, we got him pulled out from that log right there. You can get a better look at him right here. I definitely think he's a mature buck. Look at the old melon on him. Decent mass down on the bases. Pretty cool split G2 right there. And I don't know where this deer came from other than this year. I have no history with this buck. We just seen him the other day out of that redneck blind and we knew it was one we wanted to target. And matter of fact, yesterday I spent all that time looking through my trail pictures trying to really put an age on him. And uh, I didn't find a single picture that looked like it was him. But at any rate, it was definitely one we wanted to target. And on this farm especially, if I can shoot a deer that's mature, then I'm a happy camper. That's what we want to do. And these guys especially. I'm a, I'm a management guy, so anytime I can take out a deer like that, I'm real happy. So... And it's my birthday today. I just had a couple of days to hunt and uh, a lot of you guys know that my mom's not doing well and so uh, it's nice I get to go back and spend some more time with her and regroup and uh, we'll be back hopefully for a uh, shotgun season. We'll, we'll see how it goes but definitely a beautiful day to be out and a beautiful buck. <laughs> 